What's up guys? This is part two. This is gonna be an awesome gym tour. Let me talk a little bit about my first gym tour, okay? I went through pretty much everything I had at the time. Since then, I've got a few additional pieces of equipment, so I'm gonna show you those today, which you probably already seen them, maybe, maybe not, in some of my previous videos. But we're gonna go through everything and addition to that, we are going to go over cost. Without any further ado, let's get started with the walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So first up, we have the Valor BD62 cable station or cable tower, pulley tower, whatever you want to call it. This thing is incredible. I have done previous reviews and different exercises you can perform on this thing. A lot of people really liked the videos. They wanted to see more specific videos about certain exercises that you can perform on this, how I feel about it. This thing, I cannot recommend it enough. It does not take up any space whatsoever. I don't know exactly the dimensions and you can load it up to 200 pounds. You can raise it, lower it. It is awesome. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description so you can check out that video. I spent $312. Now, I'm gonna go over cost or you know how much I spent for it, but I am not including shipping because it's just too complicated right now to add it. So next up, not the TV, that's just the monitor. The dumbbell set. This is the Rep Fitness five pound to 50 pound and the rack itself. This is, again, this is from Rep Fitness. I love this thing. One of the things that I really like about these is the grip. It is uh, knurled and from five to 15 pounds, it's kind of like a skinny grip and then it's kind of like a fat grip all the way through 50 pounds. I love it, it is awesome. That plus the Rep Fitness rack costs, what is that? I have my little list over here. It is 1,087, so that's for both of those and also this little mat right here. Next up, we have the Rogue Squat Rack. This is the Monster Light. It is the, let me see if I can, find the actual model. Yeah, I'll leave the link in the description again. So I can't find it right now, but it is the Monster Light series. This is the 70 inch, uh, because I believe they also have a 90 inch tall one. So this one I purchased used and it was $600, including the bench. So it was a really good deal. Oh, the bench and the safety arms and the pegs there for the weights. Very happy with that purchase. Oh, it also included the barbell. So I don't have a cost for that because it was included with the $600 that I spent for the whole thing. So it was kind of a bundle deal. Then there's a bunch of accessory stuff there I'm not going to include. So we will move on to the actual weights. So the plates there. I purchased them from Dick's Sporting Goods uh, some, some time ago, and they were $360 for all of these weights. So I have six 45s, two 25s, two 10s, and four five pound plates. Next up, we have the Rogue 150 pound sandbag. I've used it bunch of times I've done challenges with them over the shoulder, carries, just regular stuff that you do with it. This thing is amazing. It's, it, it kicks your ass. I mean, it is an awesome workout. That was $90. Next up, that box for box jumps. Uh, that was a gift. My dad built that out, so it's priceless. Next up, it is the, it's like a 35 pound, I believe. Mm, where's the weight? Yep, 35 pound slam ball. 
that is or was $55 at the time. Next up, we have the uh, Rogue Landmine Attachment, the Landmine Handle, $62. Then we have the rings, the Rogue rings. These are pretty sweet. Where's the label so you can see that? Somewhere over here. Oh, there it is, behind it. There it is, Rogue which you can find them a lot cheaper on, honestly, online. Doesn't have to be Rogue, but I went with Rogue just because they were available and I wanted to kind of match everything up, you know, just keep it consistent, why not? 70 bucks for that. And moving on to the treadmill. This is a Nordic Track treadmill. I don't know exactly the model. I don't know if it's on here somewhere. Oh, it's the C. C993, horsepower, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, so this was 1200 bucks. Now, the Rogue Echo Bike. This is an amazing piece of equipment. I've done reviews on this, I've done challenges on this, I've done the crazy, stupid 1,000 calorie challenge in one day challenge. This was, uh, I'll never do that again. That and was. this was 800 bucks. Next up, punching bag. Once in a while, if I do like a circuit program or some hit program, I'll incorporate that into my training just to kind of burn calories. But nonetheless, it is a cool piece of equipment. I have like sand in there, 300 pounds worth of sand. So the thing is not going anywhere. This was 180 bucks. Oh, and one thing that I skipped, I apologize. So let's walk over to the kettlebells. All these kettlebells together were roughly 100 bucks. Oh, and there's like the shoes there and stuff. Oh, also one thing that I did not include. Dang it. Let me see if I have it. Uh, I do not have it, but I will leave it in the description. Oh, which are those uh, farmer's carry handles. Those things are awesome, by the way. I think I spent 40 bucks for them. So whatever my total is, add the 40 bucks to that. <laughs> and finally, we have the Roman chair here, purchased from Amazon. And it was 80 bucks. And the incline bench, which is the fitness reality, incline, decline. The thing that I really don't like too much is that the seat does not, is not adjustable. So essentially you can only adjust the back of it. That was a hundred and, uh, no, I'm sorry. That was a hundred dollars. And the stall mats, I have to include those. I have four for stall mats. I got these for 45 bucks a piece. So it was a really good deal. And then finally, I did forget to include the pull-up bar. This was also an Amazon purchase, and that was 70 bucks. For a grand total of 5,346 bucks. There you have it, guys. That is my garage gym. So for under $5,500, I have something that I can use year round, even in the freezing cold, which kind of sucks, but I still do it because it's my garage gym and I own it and I love it. And any chance I have, I'm in here kicking ass. I almost forgot one of the major upgrades to this gym, which are the lights. I have. 10 LED lights. These things are amazing. They, the, the way they work, it's just, it's just incredible. They basically daisy chain. So you can connect up to six into a single outlet. And just the light that they put out is crazy. Now it was about 80 bucks. So add that to the grand total. And I'll leave a link to the, you know, link in the description just in case you want to check it out. Because. All right, guys, and that is it. This concludes the part two of the Garage Gym Tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast, honestly, going through everything and just giving you the costs and the total cost of how much I actually spent for this. So 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, make sure to leave a comment. I, I actually want to hear from you what you think, or if there's honestly anything that I missed out from the video, or if you want to see anything else uh, specifically, like a review of one of these uh, that I went through that I haven't actually done before. Until next time, see ya.